Hey, what's up guys? Rob here, and I'm back with another top 10 video. I've been cranking these out lately. Um, but I just watched Bronco Juggalo's top 10 sci-fi films, and um, he said if you wanted to make a response to it, you know, go right ahead. So I think that's what I'm going to do today. Um, I had plans to do this anyway, but uh, I might as well make it a response video. And uh, uh, Bronco, you had a lot of good ones in your top 10. But I have a bunch here that I just need to mention that did not make my top 10 honorable mentions. Um, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about these. I'm just going to whip through them. So these are just honorable mentions. Blade Runner 2049. Night of the Comet. Now some of these have some sci-fi elements in them. So um, here we have John Carpenter, Escape from New York. Signs. One of my favorite movies, Sphere. Sunshine. Gillian Murphy, Chris Evans. Demolition Man. Cowboys and Aliens. Underrated film. Ron Howard film, Cocoon. The Faculty. Jeff Goldblum in The Fly. Uh, this is an independent uh, sci-fi film that no one's probably ever heard of called Stranded. A bunch of astronauts who land on Mars. Really, really good film. E.T. Dark Skies. Jason X. I love it. It's dumb, Jason in space, but it's awesome at the same time. Battle Los Angeles. I love this movie. The Invasion with Nicole Kidman. Oblivion, Tom Cruise. Edge of Tomorrow, also Tom Cruise. Life. Ryan Reynolds, Jake Gyllenhaal. Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Star Wars, a.k.a. Star Wars New Hope. The Empire Strikes Back. And The Return of the Jedi. Yeah, these should have been in my top ten, but they're not. Okay, so those are some that I just thought I'd mention that I really like. That, that are either sci-fi thrillers, horror um, have some sci-fi elements thrown in there. So, now we're going to get on to my top 10. Starting with number 10. Uh, definitely one of my favorite sci-fi, like, action films. And, uh, you know, I remember seeing this in a theater and I was just blown away. And I still think it holds up pretty good today. It's a Roland Emmerich film, Independence Day, with Will Smith. Um... You know, where the spaceships basically come to Earth. These huge city-sized spaceships come. And they start blowing things up. And, like, these little alien ships come out of the big ship. And start, you know, fighting the, the Air Force. And um, just, you know, I remember being just blown away by these big ships. And seeing them on screen. Roland Emmerich likes to do big movies. Um, but I think this is one of the best. Really. That comes in at number 10 for me is Independence Day. Coming in at number 9 stars Lawrence Fishburne and Sam Neill. It is directed by Paul Anderson. I think this is one of his, well, best films that he's ever done. Um, but uh, it is Event Horizon. Um, but, uh, you know, th these, um, basically this re rescue team... Um, goes on a rescue mission on, on this uh, this uh, spacecraft um, and they're not receiving any kind of transmission or, or nothing and they go on there and um, the thing about this movie is the effects are really good the thing that happens like with Sam Neill at the end um, yeah really really awesome film uh, definitely check this out if you have not seen it uh, 
So that was number nine. Coming in at number eight, love this film. It's from the director of Total Recall and Basic Instinct. Um, and it is Starship Troopers. Now, I know, Bronco, you had this on your list, but I love the first Starship Troopers. Castor Van Dien. Um, you got Neil Patrick Harris, Patrick Muldoon, uh, Jake Busey, Denise Richards. Just a lot of fun. And, you know, these... these um, you know, it's in the future, obviously, but um, these soldiers are taking on these bugs that, that kill people. Uh, you know, rip them in half and stuff like that. And uh, that's basically what the movie is. They go after these bugs. Really cool idea. I really like it a lot. Coming in at number seven, of course, I've talked about this enough. Predator with Arnold Schwarzenegger. Come on, kill me. Do it now. I'm right here. Do it now. Come on, kill me. Get to the chopper! I love this movie. <laughs> of course, I've talked about this. Um, coming in at number six, Alien. Uh, I've talked about this a lot. Uh, basically like a sci-fi horror film. Uh, more than the second movie. The second movie is more like a sci-fi action film with some... with horror elements, but this is definitely a sci-fi horror film. Coming in at number five is another Schwarzenegger film, Total Recall. You are me and I am you. Great effects. I like the story. Sharon Stone is hot. That's it. <laughs> Great movie though. Sharon Stone is hot. I'm just saying. Number four. Stars Harrison Ford, and it is Blade Runner. Um, Ridley Scott film. If I had to, you know, Blade Runner 2049 is fantastic. I still like the first one more. But, you know, the, the second one, I mean, it's really close. So, that's number four, Blade Runner. Number three, I've talked about a lot, you know, pretty much all these uh, films in my other videos. That's why I'm kind of blowing through these, but... Number three, of course, is John Carpenter's The Thing, 1982, with Kurt Russell. Uh, you know, they, um, the research team goes to Antarctica, where there's like a, there's like a, a alien buried in the snow for a hundred thousand years, and they're, you know, um, this alien basically like, um, it turns into a lot of stuff, and like they're trying to kill it, and really, really cool movie. Coming in at number two uh, is definitely, when it comes to like aliens or like extraterrestrials, this is definitely like my favorite when it comes to that. Um, and it is Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Wow. Um, the third act of this movie with you know, with the, with the craft and like the bright light and you see all these silhouettes of, of these these aliens and like some of them are small like kids and then there's like the older ones um it just that re i remember watching that when i was younger i think the lady from i don't remember her name from christmas story she played the mother ralphie's mother in a christmas story she's in this uh she I, she plays the mother obviously but, um or the wife of um oh what's his name um richard dreyfus she yeah, I remember her, seeing her in this. I'm like, you know, that's the... Because I saw Christmas Story first. And then I saw this movie. And I'm like, oh, that's her. But yeah, definitely a cool film. Um, if I had to choose between this or E.T., I'd probably choose this. Um, E.T.'s great. But this is like my favorite like sci-fi, like alien type film. All right, so now we're getting to number one. And I'm sorry, this... This had to be my number one because it is so iconic and it is so good. And it is the 1968 Planet of the Apes. This film is a masterpiece. Okay. Um, here I have the collection here that has the five um, movies. You got Beneath the Planet of the Apes, 
Escape from the Planet of the Apes, Conquest of the Planet of the Apes, and Battle for the Planet of the Apes. Um, my favorite is the very first one, of course. Um, but, man, Charlton Heston, like, the third act, the ending of the movie, I mean, everyone talks about it, how it just, it, it was like a huge twist. And if you haven't seen the movie, I'm not going to ruin it, but there's a huge twist at the end. And I never even would have thought, they did such a good job, you know, kind of hiding that fact. And, you know, because when he land, when they land, you think that they're on, like, another planet and stuff. And, like, they're, they're, ro they're roaming around and, like, you know, there's rocky terrain and, and stuff. And, like, oh, my God. What happens at the end is just, I just, I can't even wrap my brain around it. But they did such a good job with that. And I like the eight eight costumes, you know, they just, they're just walking around like normal people. Like, in the remakes, you know, like Rise of the Planet of the Apes and all those, like, the apes walk around like they're regular apes. Um, you know, they kind of walk like, you know, on all fours sometimes. But in this, um, in, in these films, the apes are just walking around like normal people. Um, but they're, it's all practical effects. I just, I really like the the costumes and the way they look. So... Number one for me is Planet of the Apes, 1968. That is my favorite. Number one. So, uh, really quick. Recap. Number ten, Independence Day. Number nine, Event Horizon. Number eight, Starship Troopers. Number seven, Predator. Number six, Alien. Oops. Number five, Total Recall. Number four, Blade Runner. Number three, The Thing. Number two, Close Encounters of Third Kind. Number one, Planet of the Apes, 1968. So anyway, guys, uh, yeah, that's my top ten favorite sci-fi films. Um... I'll put Bronco Juggalo's uh, channel down in the description. Definitely go check him out and subscribe. I think most of you who are subscribed to me are probably already subscribed to him, but I'm going to give him a shout out because, it, you know, um, this is sort of a response to his video. So uh, if you guys want to do a response to this, uh, feel free. I'd love to hear your, your answers and, um, you know, what films you list or in the comments is fine. But uh, anyway, guys, thank you for checking this out. I'll be back with more top 10 videos and um, just different kinds of videos. I've been releasing a lot of different kinds of um, content on my channel, whether it's like, you know, VHS updates and, um, you know, like, of course, top 10s and collection videos and, and things like that. Um, I'm also thinking about doing, like, my action figure collection, showing you guys my action figures and my comics and things like that. I'm also starting the series, you know, Remake versus Original, uh, Horror Collection. I'm still continuing on with that. I, I just, I have so much. Um, the game Resident Evil 2 uh, comes out. Uh, I have a PS4, so I'll be getting for that. But the Resident Evil 2 Remake, the game, I'm definitely going to be buying that. And I thought until then, there might be a couple times where I'm going to be streaming a game on my channel. And it's going to be a Resident Evil game. I'm not really sure which one. It might be Resident Evil 4. Um, I, might, I might try to beat it, and then, um, you know, maybe the first Resident Evil Remastered, I might try to do that um, and stream it. But I need to get a, I need to get a pair of new um, headphones because I don't, um, and, and like a mic. Because I don't, I want to be able to like comment, you know, like do a commentary during when I'm playing the game. So that's what I'd like to do. Um, so I'm going to have to get me a mic. I'm not really sure when, but... Um, I think that'd be kind of fun, too, to play, you know, because Resident Evil is all about survival horror, and, you know, until the later sequels is more like action. But, um, you know, those are really fun games, and I think you guys would be interested if you've never seen gameplay or, or you're not into that. But just different things on my channel. There's something for everybody here. Uh, I just want to thank you guys for subscribing, for sticking with me and um, watching my videos and stuff and commenting and, yeah. It really means a lot to me. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. And um, this is Rob signing off. See you guys in the next one.